Okay, in this presentation I'm going to show you how to use uh, uh, discount factors to determine the payments on a loan amount that you may have out. And we're going to look here at these annuity payment discount factors. And those are those factors are found like on tables in your finance or your accounting book where you got the percent across the top and then the number of payments across the side and then you have to select the proper table to find the discount factors. I'm also going to uh, touch on how you'd use a Excel program or a financial calculator to determine those uh, uh, payment amounts using uh, their function. All right, here I'm going to show you the formulas for determining those discount factors and how you can use these discount factors in a formula to determine different present values and future values. But first here I want to point out the suffix OA uh, stands for ordinary annuity. That means the payments at the end of the period. And AD stands for an annuity due. That means those payments are at the beginning of the period. So just for example here, P, uh, PVOA is the present value ordinary annuity. PVAD is the present value of an annuity D. So let's just scan over these uh, discount factor for, or how we use them in these formulas here for determining present values and future values. So what we're going to be looking here as is at the payment amount and specifically here where we've got our payments defined by the equation we're going to be looking at the example here where it use a present value of an ordinary annuity along with its factor to determine the payment amount in this case it'll be on a loan and then if we scan or scan over here I just show you how how you determine the discount factor here all right Okay, here's our example. We're going to take a loan out here for $3,170, and that would be our loan principal. And then we're, it's going to be outstanding like for four years here. And then the interest rate on that loan is 10%. And what we're going to calculate here is um, what the payment amount is. And in this case, I'm going to look at a uh, ordinary annuity. They're equal payments, but they're at the end of each of the four years. So this is what we're going to calculate here. So if we go down to uh, those formulas I showed you before and we pick out the payment here for uh, the present value of ordinary annuity, we in this case it would be this loan principal amount here at the beginning of year one divided by its factor. So we'd have to go down um, down to our uh, present value uh, an ordinary annuity table. In this case it would be like we uh, have our interest rate here of 10% and then we look at the number of periods here of uh, which would be four years and then where these two intersect on the table uh, we'd use that that would be our discount factor now that's where we put our we divide the discount factor here by its present value of the ordinary annuity the low principal and the loan at the beginning of the year or beginning of year one and then we get the payment amount so in this case we determined that those equal payments were a thousand dollars each now that would pay off the loan now we can, in, if we look here, we can use the an Excel function or use your financial calculator to do that as well. Here in Excel, we'd use the payment uh, function here, and then we put our interest rate in, number of periods, years in this case, and then we put our present value in, and there we could determine the payment amount. Now these fin financial calculators, or in this case the Excel, it has a uh, advantage, one advantage here, so you can. Uh, rather than just using this discount factor, this would be pretty diff a little more difficult to use. You can put in your interest rates, your year or pay or the years that the loan's outstanding, or the number of periods, and then you can put in uh, the say the loan principal amount here. And then if there's a loan amount outstanding at the the end of uh, your you know you say for example we have five hundred dollars outstanding on this four-year loan at the end you can determine what your payments are when you got an outstanding amount here so these um, excels and these business calculators give you a pretty good advantage in using them but this is just a summary to show how you can calculate um, these are essentially annuity payments or equal payments on a loan using these discount factors here and these tables here and better yet using an Excel function or a uh, financial calculator to do them.